In this video, I want to introduce you to the expected value of x, e of x. So, here is a discrete probability distribution. Now, calculating e of x is essentially like calculating the mean from a frequency table. So if you think about how you would do that, imagine that these are frequencies. What you would do is you would multiply these values of r that we have here by their respective probabilities. So you would have r times each of their frequencies. OK, so you would have that. And then once you had added all of those together, then you would divide by how many there are. Now, adding up the total frequencies in this case is the adding up all of the probabilities together, which of course is just equal to 1. So you would just divide that by 1. So that alone is what we refer to as e of x, the expected value of x. Now, you can write that also as mu. Sometimes you'll see it like as mu. Um, but that is its calculation. Okay. So in our case, e of x is equal to 2 times 0.2 plus 3 times 0.4 plus 4 times 0.4. So 2 times 0 0.2 plus 3 times 0 0.4 plus 4 times 0 0.4. And we get 3.2. Now notice that the value that we get here does not have to be one of those values that we have there. Okay? Some people, when they hear it is the expected value, then think that it has to be one of the values that is in the table. What you should think of it as is if this was, let's say, a spinner that had three regions, two, three, and four, and these are the probabilities of going on those regions, okay? If I keep spinning the spinner uh, loads and loads and loads and loads of times and keep recording the scores, all of those scores would average at 3.2. So another example would be if you are rolling a fair die uh, that's, that's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on it, what would the expected value be? Well, because it's a fair die, each of the probabilities are the same. You would have 1 times 1 sixth plus 2 times 1 sixth times plus 3 times 1 sixth, etc. And when you add all those together, you might want to try it, okay? You're going to get 3.5 because each of the uh, values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 has an equal chance of coming up. So all of those are going to average out at 3.5, halfway between your 1 and 6. Okay, So it's like finding the median in that case because all the probabilities are the same. So the expected value is like a long-term average, and that is how you calculate it from a discrete probability distribution.